Hello, sassy sleuths. Evie Bug here, and welcome to another episode inside Nancy Drew Legend of the Crystal Skull. Where we left off, we were just going to explore this Charlie Wicker's grave thing and hopefully figure out the puzzles. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down all of these numbers here because I have a feeling that they're all talking about north, south, east, and west. So, we're going to uh, write these down and then see if we can crack this code. Okay everybody, I've got these all written down and I will put them on the screen for you so you can see. But first we need to go west and he's holding up four fingers so I think that means we move west four times. So one, two, three, four. Now we need to go north and he says two. One, two. Now we need to go east and he says one. South. He says one, two, three. West. He says one, two. North. He says one, two. West. He says one, two, three. South. One, two, three. East. One. North. One. Two, east, one. He likes to go east just one time. North, one, two, three. East, one, two, three, four. South, one, two, three, four, five. And west, one, two. <gasps> we did it! Oh my gosh, I can't even believe that we did that right now. Okay, all right, so let's dig, I guess. Ooh, what is that? Oh my gosh, did we break the shovel? Seriously? Ugh, that's kind of a creepy eyeball. Oh dear, okay. All right, um... Now let's go talk to Renee and Henry and call Beth too, just to make sure that we're not missing any conversations and then we'll get back to all the puzzles that are in the book that we found from Bruno Bolle. Hello again. I think I found the letter that Dr. Bolle was reading when he had his fatal heart attack. Iggy the Iguana had taken it. Apparently Dr. Bolle did have a crystal skull and believed possessing it would make him immortal, so we had it tested and the lab sent him its findings in this letter. Read the second paragraph. My analysis showed that the skull, while made of remarkably pure crystal, was carved using modern instruments. In layman's terms, the skull is a fake. My guess is Dr. Boulay believed in the skull so completely that when he read it was a fake, he was totally devastated, and his heart just stopped. But what I don't quite understand is... Why did you tell me you didn't know about the crystal skull when this letter indicates you did? All right. Dr. Bole told me about the skull. As you said, he believed with all his might owning that skull was the reason he was still going strong at 95. I lied to you because, well, for one thing, Dr. Bole swore me to secrecy. And for another, he kept the skull hidden. And up until just this minute, I wanted to be the one who found it. What made Dr. Boulay decide to have the skull authenticated? Getting the skull tested was my idea. When Dr. Boulay told me about it, I was skeptical and that troubled him. So I helped him find a private laboratory where we could take it so any and all doubts would be dispelled once and for all. I certainly did not anticipate that the truth would result in his keeling over and dying like that. Well... Now that I, too, know that the skull's a fake, I can stop fretting over its whereabouts. In fact, I should probably thank you and Iggy for setting me straight. I'll see you later. Fare the well. Okay. All right, so let's go talk to Henry. Yes? Did you know that Bruno was a member of a group called the Jolly Rogers? No. Should I care? It was actually a crew that disbanded in the early 90s. Don't know anything about it, sorry. I'll check back with you later. Awesome. He 
he's not entirely friendly. I mean, not that he's not friendly, but he's just not overly friendly. Um, let's call Bess and see what she has to say. Hello? Hey, what's going on? That's funny. That's what I was going to ask you. I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Evening. What can I do for you? Mm, let's just a get bowl a of bowl gumbo, of gumbo, please. Eat up. Nom, 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 nom. Mm, gumbo okay. sounds so good right now. Okay, so let's go and talk to Zeke. And I also want to figure out what this means. So we'll have to work on that at some point. But right now, let's go talk to Zeke. Sneeze, lady. What's going on? I think I'll look around some more. Take your time. Okay, so he doesn't have anything to say, so that means we can go and call Nancy back and go and talk to some more people or work on some puzzles. Hello? What's up? Not much. What about you? Ditto. Talk to you later. Bye! Ooh, the authenticator. Let's call them. Yeah? Is this Milo Research and Technology? This is Chaz, Milo. Service forwarded your call to my cell. What do you want? Are you alright? I'm at the gym. On the treadmill. It's called multitasking. Well, about the letter you sent to Dr. Boulay, you know, where you told him the skull was a fake? I was just wondering... I never told him that. Never told him what? I told him that skull was authentic. No, you said in the letter the skull was carved using modern instruments. I said all the tests I ran proved the skull had been hand-carved and hand-polished. Probably took decades to make. But the letter Dr. Boulay got said just the opposite. Then the letter he got must not have been the letter that I wrote. Are you saying the crystal skull is real? Hey, I'm not saying it's magic or anything. I'm just saying it wasn't made using 19th century, 20th century, or 21st century technology. Did you carbon date it to see how old it was? The thing was pure quartz. No carbon in quartz. No carbon, no carbon dating. Hey, look, I'm going to hang up now. If I try to talk anymore... I'm gonna pass out. Just one more question. Did you send that letter saying the skull was authentic to anyone else? No, just Dr. Bollet. I heard he died recently. Good thing I built him up front. Yeah, well, thanks for your help. No problem. Wow, so the skull is actually real? Like, wow. Okay, so someone must have written him a fake letter and then that's what killed him? I don't know if that constitutes as murder necessarily, but it's still not nice. Um, let's see, did we ever figure this out? Let's see. The last denizen buried on my guard will start your a uh, hunting, but well, will start you a hunting through the graveyard. What's written on the headstone will lead you to another, and so on and so forth, till tiny treasure you discover. So the last one in this book, maybe. Tammy Tasselman? Is that what we need to write here? That looks like the right name. Well, how would you know, Nancy? Okay, so we need to go to her grave then? Let's see. Tammy Tasselman, Terra Siesta, which is on this side, I think, somewhere. Or maybe, maybe it's actually this way. Oh, no. Okay, here's Terra Siesta. Okay. How do we get there, though? Okay, so it's... After we get to this thing, it's the back right. Okay, should be easy enough. So let's go ahead on a treasure hunt. That'll be kind of fun. Okay, let's go out here to Terra Siesta. We gotta go find Tammy Tasselman. 
Okay, not that way. Maybe it's this way. There we go. Okay, Terra Siesta, where's Tammy Tasselman? Uh, couldn't sleep without a peep, so when she died, we buried her deep. Okay, so back to the book. Here we go. Constance snoring. That's funny. So it sounds like these are all going to be kind of like pun kind of things. So let's see. Constance snoring. That's got to be it. Well, of course it has to be it. Okay, Constance snoring is at Crowing Crypts. Okay, so Crowing Crypts is like, so once we get up here to this thing, then we go to the right and then we go up. So let's go and see what we find. Okay, Crowing Crypts. Never early, never late. Oh, just in time. That's funny. Okay, Sorrow Park. That looks like the right name. Okay, Sorrow Park. Where is Sorrow Park? Sleeping Meadow. Sorrow Park. Okay, so once we get up here, then it's. Oh, okay, I know exactly where that one is. Okay. Okay, Sorrow Park. All dressed up with no place to go. Oh, Manny Kin, that is funny. Oh, these are pretty hilarious. There, I'm no dummy. Okay, now what's the next one? Let's see, Manny Kin is in Writhing Roots Memorial. All right, Writhing Roots Memorial. Died in debt. Oh, Owen Moore, that's funny. These puns are pretty, pretty hilarious. That looks like the right name. Okay, and that is in Sorrow Park. The stand-up person. Okay, Kneel Down is the next one. And he's in Crowing Crips. All right, crowing crypts. All that's left of me are these old bones. <laughs> My remains at Terra Siesta. Bingo. Bloom too late, prune too early. Smells right to me. All right, Rose Winter Spring, who is in Slumber Gardens. Okay, she would have given you the shirt off her back. All right, this should be the last one. Polly Esther Givens. Hopefully this will Givens me a clue. Okay, and where is Polyester Givens? She is in Forty Winks Mausoleum. Alright, Forty Winks Mausoleum. Polyester Givens. Same name as my dog at ten. Moved his grave and buried again. We don't know the name of his dog. We saw a picture of him with his dog. Maybe Bess knows. Hello? Hi Bess, how you doing? Great. I just took a nice, luxurious bubble bath, and I'm ready to boogie. When are you coming back here? That's still kind of hard to say, but listen. Remember that old photo of a boy and his dog you said you saw in that box of stuff Henry sold to Lamont? Yeah. Did it look like it was maybe taken in the 1920s? That's exactly what it looked like. Why? Because I need to find out the name of Bruno Bollet's dog. And if that boy was Bruno, then that was probably his dog. Was there any writing on the picture? Yeah, as a matter of fact, I think it said Bruno. That's all it said? Just Bruno? No, it, it said Bruno and, but whatever came after and was hidden by the frame. I really need to know the name of that dog. Oh, no. No, you don't. No more snooping. Uh-uh. 
best just get into that box again and see if the dog's name is on that picture. That's all I want you to do. How? I can't just go waltzing into Lamont's back room. And he's for sure as heck not going to fall for that sneeze contraption again. There must be some other way you can distract him. Please, Bess, I can't tell you how important this is. You've got to do this for me. Please? Absolutely, unequivocally, for the last time, no. Ah, who am I kidding? We're not going to have any fun here until you solve this mystery, and since you can't do that until I do this... Okay, I'll sneak into the back room and take another look at that photo. I mean, I will if I don't screw up. Think positive, Bess. You're going to do fine. You bet I am. In fact, I'm not going to call you again until I have seen that picture. I'm going in. You go, girl. Okay, so Bess has to do more snooping then. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like if you did like this video, and we'll see you next time when Bess will be snooping again and hopefully find the name of Bruno's dog. Goodbye!